Hi everyone. I will wait for a few audience uh, uh, to uh, get the feed going. This is uh, really important news and for everybody to uh, to realize what's going on in our country in our border how are they getting benefits if there aren't any who says that we don't have benefits uh, I'm not supposed to read your comments, but what benefits are you talking about? Do you think that the United States is the only one that is giving them benefits? Mexico has given them all the benefits. Medical, food, housing, everything. Everything. First, through this country than through yours. Uh, thank you, Janet. I will, as soon as I start, I will swipe the feed so I can start with the news. Sanchez Sanchez, thank you. Good evening, Carol and Marshall. Hello, Teresa. Darla May, hello. I uh, hope you're feeling better. Yes, you know, Anthony got me a little bit of laugh. <laughs> I was laughing with him, but I had a high fever today. I'm trying to release that all. I'm um, having a little bit of high fever. And uh, uh, that's that's the problem with me today. But uh, it's nothing that I cannot get around with. Uh, had all to Stacy, Kathy, Rita Fields, Cindy, Lee, Bryant. Maida Santos, Nancy Whitley, Idalia Gallardo. Idalia, you had a question. I believe it was in the other feed or this one. I will answer it as soon as I finish. You and Anthony had fun live. Uh, yeah. Becky Howard. Uh, no, Sherry, I'm talking about benefits. That is a document that you're talking about visas and humanitarian visas. That is not a benefit. That is a a document that because of this international pact of immigration, Mexico is obligated to give. That is not a benefit. A benefit is uh, social security and housing and retirement funds. And uh, your uh, regulation uh, code for being a Mexican citizen. So we will have a little talk with you guys as soon as I see. Uh, uh, as soon as I see a little bit of more of the feed, I think that this will be it. Let me swipe the comments off right here. Okay. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for. Border Network News, people. Uh, it's uh, 9.55 over here, a p.m. How's everybody doing? Hope that everything, everyone is doing great. Uh, I was not feeling good today, but, you know, I decided to be responsible with the feed. Not only with the Mexican feed, but with the American feed as well. I will try to do the best that I can possible to uh, give you guys the news regarding what is going on in our country? This is disturbing and it is quite disappointing. But first, let us talk about the caravan. Our contact and our source told us that 4,000 are moving up north. They just left Tapachula and they're waiting on the outsides of Tapachula to get the buses to get them up north. This people that they are coming up north, this 4,000 people, they are hoping to come to Tijuana. 
it's kind of difficult for, for me to understand that they are coming to Tijuana. Why? Because it's election year over here for mayor and for governor and for other delegates in our city. But uh, it's kind of uh, it's it's kind of difficult to understand if they are coming because of election time. The possibility for them to let them in is going to be hard. But uh, a lot of them are saying that yes, it's a strong possibility that this four thousand that they're just moving are coming strongly to Tijuana. So. Uh, it is, uh, it is disturbing. It is quite, uh, quite alarming for us to be, uh, understanding how this car caravan is moving so violently to, uh, to our, our city that is Tijuana and how is Tijuana gonna ha going to handle this, that we don't have no space whatsoever, like every border like every border in the United States, like every border in uh, in uh, Mexico. So yes, people, the rumor is that 4,000 just left Tapachula. They're leaving to go up north. And uh, apparently uh, this 4,000, they're heading to Tijuana. So my city is not, is, is not going to be able to handle all these people. I don't know where are they going to be handling these people. I don't know how are they going to be handling these people. But it is really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that uh, that this caravan is continuing to move aggressively to the north. So people, just for you know, we're going to keep in touch with our source regarding the 4,000 that they are moving all the way up to Tijuana. Another thing that is really disturbing and is the one thing that I wanted to talk to Anthony, but he was having a nice walk and a nice trip. Uh, my partner, you know, congratulations to him that he did uh, phenomenal today in Atlanta. But people, uh, regarding, regarding the situation that I wanted to talk to you guys about is one thing that I just told the Mexican feed. And it's something that is that is going to concern you guys is going to concern you because this is what is going to happen in the United States. This is what is really going to happen. The political party <coughs> that is Morena, that specific political party is the one that our president is on. The political party on Morena, the agenda of that political party is that sorry I'm sorry uh, that political party that is Morena is the one that it had that he, that they want open borders Morena these people are really pushing their agenda to become a one whole country with with collided with El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. So, what I'm about to show you is really disturbing. Is disturbing why? Because these departments of government are the ones that they give you. Uh, a code or a number for you to be identified as a citizen. Also, they give you another code and another number to be registered as a citizen in a particular city or in a particular country. So, this is a document that states of Catherine Sofia Giron Martinez. This is a citizen that just got uh, her uh, 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 identification with a register, a federal registered. She's federal registered right now, and she is uh, registered as we speak, right there, as a Mexican. Now, this is the most disturbing thing. Catherine Sofia Giron Martinez 
she has social security right now. There you go. Social security, Mexican social security. And not only that, this is the most disturbing thing. Catherine Giron, Catherine Sofia Giron Martinez. She got all of that with a humanitarian visa. She is from El Salvador. And right now she is registered as Mexican. She is registered to open a business in Mexico. She can open a business in Mexico with her federal registered code. And she has also social security to be registered. What does this mean? That she can get social security, although probably she just wants it to be registered to work. Or she can be registered as social security and getting all the benefits that Mexicans are not getting. So where am I going with this? I'm going to read you a document that it says something about how many Mexicans they don't have social security. I'm going to try to translate for you guys so you guys can know. This statistics was elaborated by the team of uh, the name Action, City Action Frontline for the Poor with, uh, with the support of the Foundation of pa uh, Peace and Guerrero and the National Commission of the Human Rights. They did a study in Mexico and it says that all the social programs, they are agreeing that 68 million people in Mexico, they don't have access to social security. 68 million people, they don't have access to social security in my country. And this particular individual from El Salvador, she already has been registered as, uh, let me see how the word is in English. So I won't sound Hold on, bear with me, people. I don't want to be pro unprofessional. Okay. She's been registered as a contribuyente, that it means uh, a taxpayer. She's been registered as a taxpayer in... Mexico. So she now is registered as a taxpayer. Not only that, she was put on the federal government's social security. Not only that, after you see all those documents, you think that it's going to be a Mexican. No, she's not. She has a humanitarian visa and she turned dual citizenship. So they are paying and they are changing the paperwork of these people to be registered as Mexicans in our country. And we got 68 million people in our country that they don't have social security. Imagine that. And there's a question that, you know, a lot of people are going to ask. And a lot of people are willing to ask. What's the whole deal with Mexico doing this? What is the whole deal? Why is Mexico doing this? And as I mentioned you, starting this feed, I told you that Morena, Morena, 
It's the political party of the president. Morena is the one, the political party that is pushing the agenda for open borders. So Morena is letting all these people in, not only to get as Mexican documents, but of course, to get their ID, their institutional national electoral ID, so they can vote. And they can vote where? If they're moving to the States, move to the States. But if you're going to stay in Mexico, the only agreement is you're going to get those documents, but vote for who? For Morena. So they are completely changing. They want to form an empire. They want to, to, to collide a patria, a una sola patria. That is one own one whole sovereignty, one national sovereignty, only that. And all of that is going to confirm from Mexico all the way down to those three, four countries. No borders, no walls, no nothing. One identity. They want to become an empire. That is what is the rumor. And that is what is what is every what everybody is thinking right now and what everybody is speculating this is a clear example this is just one one document that they slipped away and this person took it and he showed it to me do you think that is this is okay oscar he told me do you have social security i don't have no benefits and i'm mexican look at this and they have all the benefits that you can't imagine now. So, people, we are out. We are. I'm. Um, I'm informing you. All these things, because this is the agenda. That the left is going to try to push, in the United States. This is the agenda. That the Democrats are going to try to push in the United States violating the constitution by ruling with the international pact this is the agenda they're going to try to put and this is why this is the only why this is the only reason why to dominate a whole continent it sounds pretty crazy and it sounds like a person that is not there But this clearly states an example that we are getting violated with documentation that not only our country, not only our citizens are given. You saw on Sunday that I was taking water to some deported Mexicans. They don't have an ID. They don't have a registered uh, a code. They don't have social security. They don't have nothing, but these people that they're coming from the South, they have everything. They have all the support. And it looks like our president is trying to get us out of the picture and get new people in. It's unbelievable. And it's crazy. But it's the new world order. And it is this time, and it's our, on this time's is what is happening. So falsification of documents to, to convert yourself as a Mexican, to become a Mexican. But not only that, to push the agenda on voting for one political party and to make that political party powerful and to one day change the constitution and become one. That is the agenda of these people. Disgusting, but it is what it is. That is what they're going to try to do in your country. They're going to try to break the barrier, break the border, break the frontier, break everything that they break everything that is coming through their hands. I wanted to talk to you guys about this because this is really serious documents that I got on my hand. 
and a lot of the Mexican public don't like it. They don't accept it. They have the illusion still of our president. They think that he has the possibilities of changing our country. And now there's none. There's no possibilities. Our sovereignty is hurt. Our culture is, getting, is going to get hurt. And there's not going to exist. No Mexico in a few years if we continue like this. And if they don't put a stop to it. I will accept questions right now for a few moments. And I will accept whatever questions you guys want to uh, ask me. Try to make them short, please. So we can... Uh, so we can uh, 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 communicate each other and uh, <clears throat> uh, we can uh, answer and I can answer your questions as, as, as quick as possible. Let me swipe the feed right here. Okay. Our only hope is Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. Your people have to fight for Mexico. Yes, we are. Please come to America, Oscar. I wish. But it's, uh, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. Colin Philo, congratulations for that. That's, that's great that you will fight for your country. <clears throat> Don't you guys all know Obrador ran an anti-Trump campaign? No, we didn't. Go public with this. Yes, I am. How, how am I doing? I'm doing all right. Yes, I can protest against my president, but it's one out of one against a thousand or one against a million. Who is the head of the snake? I don't understand what you're saying. Thank you, Cheryl. Is Tijuana the closest city you have to our, to our border? No. <laughs> you have Tijuana, Mexicali, Sonora, Hermosillo, uh, the whole Chihuahua state, uh, uh, Coahuila, uh, Nuevo León, Monterrey, Tamaulipas. There's six borders, six countries, six cities that they are close to, uh, and six cities in our country that they have uh, a lot of ports of entry. Do you believe Mexico is getting a taste of their medicine? If this, do you think that is, uh, if I don't like to get into those kind of comments because it sounds like you're mad of Mexico. And it sounds like you're mad of Mexicans crossing illegally to your country. And it sounds like you are Ah, now you're getting it. Now you feel like how we feel. Now you know how we feel. It's not about that. This is much bigger than that kind of anger. And this is much bigger than that kind of attitude. I'm sorry, I must address you. Uh, this is much bigger than that. This is new world order. This is the United Nations. This is the thing that has been written. And it was going to happen one day. And they're trying to make it today so there's few countries that they are trying to fight and one of them is uh is uh united states but they have a lot of a lot of people that they want to fight against president trump against the ideals that you like and against the ideals that i'm fighting and those are the democrats and there's a lot of them so the fight is in your country too
Questions, everybody? Do you think Trump closing the border will hit them much because money is the big thing in Mexico? <laughs> Do you know how much the United States makes out of all the transportation, all the import and export? They make more than between 1.7 trillion to 2, 3.2 trillion a week. So that's why he Trump, he did not close the border. He's a businessman. So he knows all the money that is going to lose. That's 1.7 trillion to 3.2 trillion a week. Imagine that. All the money that goes into the United States and all the money that the United States exports too. Will you take you and your family into my home? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Uh, we did not think about that. Did Mexicans think before election that Obrador was a nationalist or socialist? There was a lot of people saying that he was a socialist, but we did not believe that until now. We got six years to go with him. So in six years, our country is going to be destroyed. What do you say about people's land was being taken in Mexico? Becky Howard. Yes. Uh, what documents do you have? Are they public? No, they're not. Uh, 1.5 billion a day, not trillion. Yes, I'm talking about a week. I said, uh, Ryan Polisoto, and I don't know if that uh that is amount that you're giving is accurate. Let me check. But trillion a week, I said trillion a week. That's what approximately they make. 1.7 trillion to 3.2 trillion a week. Uh, what was the question? I'm sorry, I, I'm not feeling good, so I'm sorry. <clears throat> Do you guys have a nationalist party to try to post him on? Our political parties are so corrupt over here. Is you cannot trust no one. Our militias are on the Texas border. Hope that they are enough, but I don't think that your militias is going to be enough to stop this. The military and the National Guard needs to get in there. The militia is not enough. Do you have a military that supports him in Mexico? That supports who? Thank you, Brandy. Ryan Polisotto. Hope that you're correct, but I don't uh, get, study the, the border, please, and the port of entry and import export, please. We live over here. Uh, Rita Field, uh, do you feel okay? Uh, I think that you are uh, using fall language and Mexican language. Thank you so much, Miss Kathy. Our military cannot go in until our president declares national emergency. When he declares that, that will be 
you know, immediate uh, entrance of the military in our in our country. But as you know, our our president wants open borders. A revolution will be the biggest mistake. I think that uh, uh, making our president understand that this is a wrong, this is an international, this is a, a wrong pact that we need to get out of it. Uh, that's the only way. The USA didn't sign the immigration pact, so why the hell are we taking them? Because that's your debate. We are the fork. They want to go to the United States. They don't want to stay in my country. What's wrong with my president? He's crazy, probably. <laughs> your military in our country is not happening. A little bit later, I'll go to the doctor and see if I'm getting, if I, if the medicine is working, I will stay home. But if not, I will, you know, go to the doctor. Uh, yes, I have fever, Ms. Mary. <clears throat> yes, Canada is in the UN pact, Rita Fields. Why does your president want to open borders? Because he's a socialist. Uh, are people coming into your city yet? They're all over the place. Who is the MS-18? Mara Salvatrucha 18. What do you say about them taking land in Mexico? Yes, they're going up in the mountains where their indigenous live. And the government is taking away the land of the indigenous. So the land is free. And what these immigrants are doing is they're going to this land that is free and taking it. Are Mexican selections fixed? Uh, it's a rumble. You don't know. It's like in Texas that they say they were fixing boats. Uh, how many you think they will stop in Texas? You know, the majority stops in Texas because it's real easy to cross. But when it comes to benefits, California is the one that is giving them more. So uh, there's a lot of possibilities that they, a few of them are going to come over here and few of them are going to come to your side of your country. Thank you, Julian. How far is the house from your border? I cannot say that. How do we stop this from happening? Vote for Donald Trump the next elections and go to your GOP and, uh, and fight. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Robin Wright. Yeah. 
That is absolutely right, Christine. You cannot purchase a house over here. Still the same way. But a lot of them are purchasing it through another person. And then they put a document that they're selling it to him. You know? ¿Podrías verificar una página hablando claro con Berta Aguirre? Sí, conozco a Berta. Tengo el gusto de conocerla y sí sé qué página me hablas. ¿Qué hay con esa página? I wish that I can go to your country, Melissa. <laughs> Thank you, Patty Roberts. Goodbye, Annie. Have a great night. I forgot my reading glasses at the car. Uh, goodbye, Becky. Have a great night. And Buckley and Frost. Have a great night. Lena Hall. Have a great night. Karen Lee Le uh, Lovelace. Have a great night. Kathy Cole. Thank you so much. What is their purpose of this open borders? New world order. One world, one government, one ruler, one empire. Anima y gracias. Que Dios te bendiga a ti también. Thank you so much, Sheila Bice. That is so nice of you. God bless you. God bless you, really. Fake that visa like they do. No, 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 no. Está pidiendo que nos unamos por lo mismo que dices tú totalmente. La señora Berta es una gran señora. Le deseo lo mejor en su lucha. Tiene su propia lucha. Es la única abogada que está apoyando este, 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 este movimiento en contra del pacto. Es una mujer muy inteligente. De mi parte, dile que le mando muchos saludos. Thank you everybody for uh, opening their doors to me in America. One day I will be there. Thank you so much, Nancy Hutchiston. Thank you, uh, Dave Gray. Thank you, Kathy Cole. Thank you, Miss Kathy. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> thank you so much. I know Christine Babillan. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Josie Kipple. Uh, Shayla Vice, thank you so much. God bless you too. Uh, God bless you, Linda Ellen and Annie, Bra Annie Brawley. Mona, Mona Sandoval. Uh, Dakmar, thank you. Come to Los Angeles, Oscar. <laughs> uh, I've been there a lot of times back in the day. When I was young. Uh, hi, Tracy uh, Lears Kim, Kami or Kim. Georgia, which part of Georgia? It's beautiful. Georgia is full with trees. Thank you, Shayla. <laughs> you got 24. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much. M. Paget, thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. That, you guys are awesome. Look at this. That's too much love that I'm receiving. Thank you so much. Uh, did I see the 800-year-old church burn today? Oh, my God. Look, uh, there's cathedrals that they are really historical. In Mexico, 
you can Im you you guys can imagine how many cathedrals we have in Mexico. There's beautiful cathedrals in our country that they are full with gold inside and Lord Jesus is on the middle. And it's beautiful cathedrals. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cathedrals. And this is what happened today was really horrific. It looked planned. Really, it looked planned. I'm not so informed about what happened. I don't want to open my mouth. But it looked like somebody did something. And uh, thank you, Kelly. Uh, let's message me once in a while. <laughs> and uh, it looked planned. It looked really planned. It looked like somebody did it on purpose. So, you know, it looked like somebody's trying to damage the Cathedral of Notre Dame. You know, Notre Dame is one of the most beautiful schools in America. It's on the top five schools, I think, so in America, if it is between Harvard, Stanford, Yale, uh, Duke or Michigan State and Notre Dame. I think that those are the five, five or six, top five or six that they are more important in the country of the United States. And to see that historical cathedral burned down today, you know, it was sad to see it. It's beautiful. And a lot of people were were laughing about it. You know, a lot of people were laughing about it. And it is it was so insulting. And it looked like somebody planned it. It looked like somebody uh, did that on purpose. It was not, it was, how can a, a cathedral like that, that it has, they, it has been there for years and years, never had an incident like that. And all of a sudden, there's a big incident that it that it caused that all of it burned to pieces so it looked like somebody was planned the cathedral to be burned and and uh you know it, it was sad to see it no not the school no of course not the school of course, not the school, Patricia. I agree with you. Ten churches damaged within a week. Oh, my God. It looks like a plan now. Yes, it looks. No, they haven't, Janice Murphy. No, I didn't listen to Kim Clement. The cross within still stands. Wow, that is ah, that is beautiful. You know, there was a, there's a story about a, a volcano that is in Michoacan, and is a is a part over there in a mountain. And it, it erupted, and there was uh, there was a church right there, and there was a Christ of gold, and that church got all turned all all of it. The whole town was uh, was uh, was burned, and it was this they disappeared because of the lava. But the only thing that it got that still was standing is uh, it was uh, Jesus Christ. And back and then he turned into black, but they call him now the black Jesus, the gold black Jesus, and it's standing right there, and in, in the little part of the mountain, it was the only thing that it didn't uh, burn. So there's miracles, and those miracles, you know, they don't go away.
10 churches and much more desecration. Wow, that is unbelievable what is going on in the United States. It is unbelievable what is going on in the world, people. It's not just the United States, it's the world. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. This is new world order. It's happening, people. Let's fight. CJ Pratter, thank you. How big is the caravan heading to the border and how long it please? Uh, 4,000 and it's around uh, <clears throat> three to six days. Kelly, uh, you're talking about it was built in 1163 and uh, it took 100 years to build. Look at that, man. That is awful. Wow. A church in USA burned and they found a Bible not burned. Yes, it is. Hell with. Uh, okay. I'm not allowed to. Uh, uh, I'm not allowed as a broadcaster, not allowed to insult uh, the religions over here in, in Mexico. So I can't, you know, use uh, phrases to insult a particular religion, although I know which religion you guys are talking about, but I can't do that. Thirty thousand. Wow. Why is Mexico not stopping these people? They want open. It's not Mexico. It's the government and is the president. It's not Mexico. If you say Lenny, Mexico, that means that me, my family, and everybody else, we don't want this. We want this open borders. You see me every day, day in and day out, talking to you guys that we don't want open borders. That we want our sovereignty and we want to be. Uh, we want borders, so it's not Mexico, it's the government. Okay, you guys, I'm leaving. Have a great night. Uh, we're about to go to sleep. It's 10.39 over here at night. Uh, uh, have a great night. Stay safe. And, uh, Hopefully tomorrow we will feel, we will feel a little bit better and we can continue with this news and uh, continue to documentate and co do the document and coverage of the caravan. Stay safe, everybody. Uh, follow me at uh, Oscar of Blue Public Figure and follow my uh, my partner, Conservative Anthony, and, uh, and follow uh, Border Network News. For everybody right now, have a great night, peace and love, and always your country first.